Was metastable solid metallic hydrogen really debunked as viable future fuel? In this thread about Kerbal Space Program two authors says they are building gameplay based on technologies that are potentially viable in the near, or our future. Main topic there is. Metallic hydrogen. It ignited a heated discussion on that technology and some people claim it was already debunked and proven impossible. People there cite various sources that says yes or no for this possibility. So, what do we know now? For real? Is it already proven impossible? Harder than we thought? Is anyone still working on fuel applications? What I'm looking for is short and partial overview of the current beginning of 2020 state of knowledge. About three years ago we had a list of questions on that topic, but supposedly more recent research brings some sad news. HTTPS colon slash slash space dot stack exchange dot com slash q slash one nine nine five oh slash one two one oh two https colon slash slash space dot stack exchange dot com slash q slash one nine nine four seven slash one two one oh two for the recently reported production January twenty seventeen of metallic hydrogen in the laboratory, what is the evidence exactly? Are there published predictions that hydrogen could remain metallic at ambient pressure? Would a transition from liquid metal to solid metal hydrogen exhibit thermodynamic characteristics of freezing? Also, new answers to first two would not help us now because we know it was considered and it's not going to change, and oxidizer one assumes it exists and works, and that assumption is what I want to verify. This paper claims that metallic hydrogen at low temperatures might be relatively long-lived at pressures above about $50 GPA dollar with a large margin of error which is about 500,000 atmosphere and decay rapidly below that pressure. This does make it seem that tankage for a metallic hydrogen-fueled rocket would have to be quite robust, and the consequences of a tank rupture would be quite severe. This is just one paper though, I don't have an overview.